Can I welcome everyone to the 13th meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. First item of business is to propose that the committee takes item 7 on the Delegated Powers provisions in the Age of Criminal Responsibility Bill in private. Does the committee agree to that? Agreed. Okay. Uh, agenda item 2, we're considering an instrument subject to affirmative procedure. Uh, no points have been raised on the draft public appointments and public bodies etc. Scotland Act 2003, Treatment of South of Scotland Enterprise as specified Authority Order 2019. Is the committee content with this instrument? Okay. Item 3, we're considering instruments subject to the negative procedure and the first one is the non-domestic rates relief for new and improved properties Scotland amendment regulations SSI 2019-116. The regulations uh, were laid before the Parliament on the 22nd of March and came into force on the 31st of March and this doesn't respect the requirement that at least 28 days should elapse between the laying of an, an instrument subject to the negative procedure and the coming into force of that instrument. And the reasons for the breach are set out in correspondence with the presiding officer which is available in our published papers. Standing orders require the committee to draw to the Parliament's attention any failure to respect the 28-day laying requirement. So does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground J, as the regulations fail to comply with the requirements of section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010? Okay. And is the committee content that the failure to comply with section 28 is acceptable in the circumstances? Okay. Uh, the next instrument is the TSE Scotland Amendment Regulations SSI 2019-118. Uh, and before the committee uh, jumps in, I'm going to have a stab at what TSE actually means. Transmissible spongy form encephalopathies. Got it. <laughs> the instrument amends the 2010 regulations to align them with an EC regulation on rules for the prevention, control and eradication of certain types of the disease prior to EU exit. The instrument contains an error in relation to the failure to follow proper drafting practice when referring to an EU instrument in the preamble. Does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the general ground as there has been a failure to follow proper drafting practice in the preamble? Okay. Um, no points have been raised on SSI's 2019, 121 and 133. So is the com committee content with these instruments? Okay. Gender item four, we're considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedures. No points have been raised on SSI's 2019, 122, 123 and 134. Is the committee content with these? Okay. Gender item five, we're considering the Scottish Government's response to our stage one report on the transport bill. The Government's agreed to look at some of our recommendations uh, I'm sure we'll look at it, the, the bill again following any amendments at stage two. Does the committee wish to note the government's response to our stage one report on the transport bill? Yes. Yes. Okay. And agenda item six, we're considering the government's response to our stage one report on the climate change uh, emissions reduction targets bill. Uh, we made only one recommendation at stage one, which as can be read in the accompanying paper the government has agreed to. It will therefore seek to amend the bill in line with the committee's recommendation at stage two. So does the committee wish to welcome the government's response to our stage one report on the climate change bill? Yes. Thank you, and I'll move the meeting into private.